Mizzy is the most stubborn YouTube prankster and it isn't even close. So, for you lot who don't know who Mizzy is, he's basically an 18-year-old YouTube prankster. He does post on TikTok as well. He actually blew up on TikTok quite a bit recently for walking into someone's house, stealing a woman's dog, asking random people if they wanted to die. He's also assaulted a Jewish man for just existing. So just by that basic description, you should already know what type of person he is. Well, in this video, I'm only going to cover one of the topics, and that's the walking into the house prank that basically projected Mizzy into the limelight, into his 15 minutes of fame, and even caused him to go on a Piers Morgan interview. But we'll cover that later on in the video. For now, here's the walking into the house prank. James? Yeah. Come to the front door right now, please. James? Yeah. James? Hi. You man from? Hello, James. James. We need to speak to James. James? Hello. Hi. Um, yeah, James. Is this right, where the study group is? Study no. group? No. What the number is this? No. Um, yeah, study group? Come on. Come on. But this is not what a study yeah, group got kids, man. Oh, you got kids? Oh, sorry. Oh, I thought this was a study group. I actually thought. Yeah, actually. And this is a study group. This is me off. I just casually opened the gate with no respect for people's privacy whatsoever. On top of that, the wife is clearly scared, shouting for her husband to come to the door. On top of the fact, you can literally see the kids at the bottom of the stairs, and then he proceeds to go into the living room, sit on the guy's sofa, and put his feet upon the table. Like... Where's the fucking respect, man? Come on. I don't get this man's thought process either. He recorded himself doing a crime. Actually, the fact he even thought of doing the idea in the first place is stupid in my opinion. But recording it is a whole nother level of stupid. How are you going to record yourself doing a crime and then posting it to TikTok expecting no repercussions whatsoever? And as stated earlier, this video did go quite viral to the point where the Met Police got involved and issued a search warrant for Mizzy. Cost of living crisis and knife crime? No. Going after a YouTube prankster? Yes! And Mizzy was fined a grand total of £365 and given a two-year criminal behaviour order. And the order actually included that Mizzy must not directly or indirectly post videos onto social media without the documented consent of the people featured in the content. And that he must not trespass into private property and that he must not visit Westfield Stratford, which I'm assuming where the house video took place. And guess what? Less than 48 hours after this criminal behaviour order was issued, he broke it by posting a video to social media. And he has since been arrested yet again. Anyway, onto the Piers Morgan interview. This interview took place when Mizzy was fresh from the courtroom and lasted a grand total of 10 minutes, making it the shortest Piers Morgan interview ever. I don't know if you could even call this an interview since Mizzy was just plugging his socials the entire time, waffling. Even interrupting Piers Morgan more than Piers Morgan was interrupting him, which is quite bizarre. I can't really comment much about the interview, but the interview is free to watch on YouTube. Just literally look up Piers Morgan, Mizzy interview. You can watch the entire thing there and you'll see what I'm talking about. Anyway, like, subscribe. Good night. See ya.